Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Citizen Sleeper. And in the last episode, guys, we actually got to hear a story from Emphis for a change, and we were able to uh, get the boarding passes for the Sidereal Horizon, but the Sleeper is somewhat hesitant to actually go on that trip. But we do have a little bit of time before that actually happens. I'm not seeing anything else for Lemon Mina, and we've got about six more days before the horizon takes off, so a lot can happen during that time. So we've got a six dice here, and one thing that we haven't done a whole lot is we haven't done any hacking lately. Maybe we can. Oh, check that out. We get extra opportunities now that we have the plus two. I don't know if we necessarily need any of this now. So, what should we go ahead and spend this six dice on? Maybe a little bit of gambling? Actually, let's do it on something that we have not um, done before. Let's head over here to the wastes and gather some scrap. We just get one scrap component. In an old docking bay, you find a locker corroded shut. You crack it open, and the components inside are in perfect condition. Cool. Just want to have a little bit more scrap to repair ourselves, and just prevent this breakdown from happening in the first place. Well, that is another day. Go ahead and feed the stray. Prepare ourselves. And call it a cycle. I think the mushrooms should be ready for harvest soon. Oh, decent dice today. Good, good. Okay, scrap freighter, we already bought everything there. Is there anything else to do? Nope. Just making sure that Lemon Mina's place doesn't become available or anything like that. This actually may be our full, like, idle day where we don't have anything going on because uh, Bliss is still trying to find a new job for us. The dock. All right. Cool. Looks like all of our business may be in the green way. Oh, okay, mushrooms will be ready tomorrow. Well, if that is the case, let's go ahead and collect some more spores. That gives us four. And... Let's do that one more time. That way we'll have... Well, no, we'll have some extra dice. That should be fine. Um, let's go ahead and grab some more scrap. See, check it out. When you've got nothing to do... Then it just becomes a little bit of general upkeep and uh, getting food. Actually, we can probably just go ahead and get food with our dice. Let's go ahead and unload some containers, maybe, for some coin. It's a nice plus 15 cryo and energy, too. Cool. We don't even have to uh, get food for ourselves. Now it just becomes a money-making venture. How about... Let's do a bar shift. Hopefully nothing bad happens to us. Dawg. 
You sleepwalk through your shift, eye on the clock. You break a glass, and the sound seems to reverberate inside your skull. Been there. Ah, much better, though. Now, are we... Do we get another chance to unload some containers? Or do we want to... Well, wait. One thing that we haven't been that we haven't done over the course, we have not actually sunbathed <laughs> for uh, our photosynthetic skin. So let's go ahead and do that here at the casa. Plus three energy, lovely. Working on your own body is an unsettling but necessary act. You can feel the new components under your skin. Yes, indeed. Look at that. Another night. By the way, last night I think was our 50th on the station. Ooh, good dice day. See, I wonder if you could just, like, keep on playing the game and just get an insane amount of money. However, well, and just have the stabilizers there as an emergency measure in case something really bad happens. You get some bad rolls. Okay, time for the to yield the crop. We'll get it all in one shot. Two random. We got Clubhead and Matsutake. Cool. I think that we just need one more club head for Rico. Is that more Matsutake? Alrighty. And... There we go. Lovely. Now we head back down here, and... Oh, it's just one thing of spores. Well, we don't have to worry about that anymore. Okay, excuse me, it's three. That works, too. That's just very self-sufficient, and I love it. Alright, to the labs. And one more. Now Rico has something to say. Rico is at her bench, running small vials of some liquid through an old chemical analysis, mach analysis machine. The whirring of the spinning drum fills the lab with white noise, and you aren't sure if she notices you approach. Oh, sleeper, it's good to see you. She looks up, smiling. This little project of ours has been keeping me awake the past few cycles. But right now, well, I think I have something. What is it? The drum finishes spinning and Rico lifts a vial from it, holding it up to the light. This is something I extracted from those club heads you've been bringing me. And according to my analysis... It is a substance totally unique on the Greenway. You look at the small amount of liquid in the vial. Any idea what it might be? Rico asks, without looking away from the vial. You know, that would actually be awesome if it was stabilizer. They were talking about the mushrooms providing for uh, people here on the eye. Let's maybe go with stabilizer? Stabilizer? Rico nods. You aren't the first sleeper to come through here. Perhaps I should have mentioned that earlier. Rico's tone suddenly drops, changing the atmosphere in the lab immediately. I just thought... She pauses, thinking very carefully on how to continue. I just wanted you to trust us. What do you mean? 
They came through our fair cycles a few cycles ago. We found them wandering in the broken sector near the gap. The members who brought them in had never seen one of you before. They were terrified of this strange person, wandering in from open vacuum. They were quieter than you, and damaged. We did our best to patch them up and welcome them to the commune. I only really spoke to them once, while I was working on their wounds along with a couple of systems engineers. She looks nervously at you. I'd never seen a body like that before. I took some readings. Some samples. Samples. You have to understand, I was curious. I didn't know what I was looking at. I just took a little of the damaged material, less than a thumbnail. She shifts her weight to her crutch. The next cycle, they were gone. They took a little food and hiked upwards toward the wild margins, where the greenway meets the wastes. Someone saw them in the distance, but that was it. They disappeared into the overgrowth. She sits down heavily, the vial in her hand. When I saw you, I wanted things to be different. I wanted to keep you here, rather than let you disappear into wherever they ended up. She smiles to herself. Yes, I wanted to understand this place better. But I also wanted to help you. It seems that somehow, both my wishes have come true at once. She holds out a hand with the vial. This is for you. You take the stabilizer, the glass cold and smooth in your palm. Thank you. Don't thank me. She gazes out at the greenway through the glass. Those clubhead caps made it for you. Or at least who and whatever made those clubheads. She starts to clear her bench. It was right there, contained in their tissue. I only had to extract it. I imagine you understand how incredible that is. I learned enough from that sleeper to know that your body, your frame is it? It runs on some exotic technology. Exotic technology that has a time limit built in. Somehow, the Greenway knows that too. It understands your physiology much better than I ever could. It knows how to treat you. Just like that miraculous antidote that sprung from the mold, so too has this sprung from your presence here. The Greenway is speaking to you. It's welcoming you. She looks up. I know it sounds crazy, but I know it to be true. Here's the evidence. Uh, that kind of coincides to the gardener. And what I also know that it is no longer speaking to me. Even after decades here, I have never seen this kind of response. Not since the antidote so many cycles ago. She smiles. So I'm going to make you a deal. You bring me as many club heads as you like, and I'll extract the stabilizer and give it to you. Freely. But you have to tell me what the Greenway says. You have to speak with it. To dig into it. To find what being in is at the center of it. I've traveled as far as I can. I need you to do the rest. Can you do that? Yes. Rico sighs with relief and deflates into her chair. Thank you. I'm sorry for the other sleeper. Truly I am. I'm sorry I couldn't have done more. But I'm so glad I met you. She smiles. You are welcome here anytime. Rico falls silent. She looks smaller now. More fragile. And you realize how old she must be to have seen the collapse firsthand. You idle a little in the lab, in case she asks for anything else, but... She remains silent, and so you drift back into the tunnel. Thoughts of that other sleeper, and where they ended up, weighing on your mind. Hey, grow your own. Rico's grow beds. What's here? The only way to understand what Gardener gave you is to grow it. Ooh. 
Okay. Interesting. And with two, we can do a stabilizer synthesis. So we don't have to buy stabilizer anymore. We could just grow it. Yeah, that self-sufficiency is no joke. Alright, um... Do we want to go ahead and try for some spores? Yeah. Let's go ahead and give that a shot. That's one. Reroll. Okay, well, that didn't work out well for us, did it? I'll tell you what, you know where we're going to waste these uh, low dice on? We are going to uh, go onto the grid and do this. Perk Icebreaker, plus one data items extracted. Cool. That gives us two Yadigan data. And then eventually, once we get those with the low dice, we can hand those off to Caster, I suppose. Well, nothing really else to do today other than to get food and plant something else other than fungus. I'll take good care of it, Sleeper. Rico smiles. Don't you worry. Okay, so that does one... Gardener's Gift. The seed is planted and Rico is an attentive mother to it. What future is forming there? Hmm. Okay. Neat. We should be in good shape, though. Let's go ahead and cross over to the rim. We'll grab some food at Emphasis Stall, repair ourselves. And yeah, because we still have the scrap available, we might as well. Um, oh, wait. The stall, wretch. The stall. There we are. Still got a few more days. Until the uh, sidereal horizon takes off. We got a lot of stuff kicking off. Okay, but self repair. Sleeper? Moritz is leaning against the corridor, corridor wall. It's time. He looks away. Big job just came in. Grand finale. You up for it? I'm ready. Alright then. We're in business. He pushes away from the wall. This has to work, Sleeper. It has to. He looks down. If it doesn't, are we in trouble? The bay, you mean? He shrugs. We were already in trouble before you got here. The work so far has been enough. Look, Bliss has had a rough time of it, and I thought you of all people would understand that. He runs a hand through his hair. Sorry, didn't mean to be. He smiles. Bliss is a good one. She gave me a chance. I owe her. He straightens up. I know you have your own things to going on, Sleeper. We all do. But the Bay needs someone. Bliss needs someone. Hell, I need someone to help me keep Bliss from spinning out completely. He scratches the side of his head. Otherwise, there's not much I can do. He shakes his head. And I would hate not to pay back my debts. Moritz stretches. I've got to get back. He nods and walks away. I'm out. See you up there. Well, the good news is, if there's something really good up there, then that means that we can probably throw all of our dice into it. Because we're just sitting there waiting on uh, stuff to grow. 
Let's see. Patch solar sails. Oh, cool. It looks like um, the Bajoran sail ship from DS9. Or Count Dooku's um, solar sailor. Okay, rigged and ready. Untangle the sails for three. The selected launch window for the Starward Vector's maiden voyage is closing. This is going to be a tight one. Giggity. Um, holy crap, we only got six days? And a lot to fill. I am really glad that we have this. Okay. Well. Wait, rigged and ready plus two? Rigged and ready plus three. But that's dangerous and this is safe. Hmm. Okay. I mean, it is what it is, you know. This is all we're going to be doing is just untangling knots. We've all done this before. It's such a wonderful exercise. Glad we have that interface too. That's going to make life much easier. See, we're halfway there. Cool. Let's go ahead and re-roll. Okay. <laughs> it's the second time that's happened. So we're getting really good dice when we wake up, but our re-roll is something to be desired. Anything from Yadigan? Yes. Cool. And uh, the really good news here is that we're still doing well on our money situation. We were like getting money for every time we were untangling sales, which means that we can pretty much afford to feed the cat and get ourselves some more fungus stew. Let's see if we can um, have another night here where we can... Um, we still got some time. Wait, how much longer until the Sidereal launches? Like, good lord. Everything's kicking off. We got three days. Still debating on what we're going to do there. And this is our last bit of scrap. Still worth it. We don't even need to. I mean, we can just make our own food with the Matsutake caps. And the girls, but Or guy rolls, or however you want to call them. Okay. So. Let's head over here real quick. I don't want to miss anything. Okay, two more turns until... Our mushrooms are ready. Up we go. Maybe we can get this taken care of today. This is definitely an end game thing where you basically have to say, hey, this is all that you're doing. 50% positive. I'll go ahead and use that. Two. It's, uh, that's fine. That is fine. Reroll. Good. <laughs> yeah, the game's like, you know what? We've had enough of your second chance shenanigans. Okay, what do we have here? We've got Yadigan data. Let's go for that. Bypass. There's the Haven Age data. Cool. And you know what we're going to do with this last dice, just so we can go ahead and get it out of the way? 
let's go ahead and head over here to the mushroom groves and do a little bit of a risk here nothing too bad see if we can get our third spore huzzah Now, the days are flying by. Um, some... Ah, you know what? Let's go ahead and cook our own today. We will... There we are. You just want to go and... You, you want to stimulate the economy and help Emphis out, you know? It's a new day, yes it is. Okay, a bit crap, but that's kind of what I expected. Maybe now our re-rolls will be better. <laughs> All right, everything else is on standby except for this. The sidereal is taking off tomorrow. Right. and uno mas we just need the neutral there we go okay now what the atmosphere in the airlock is euphoric you and bliss keep grinning at each other like idiots exhausted blinded sore and aching idiots sleeper that was incredible. She punches you on the arm. I never thought we were going to make it. Those idiots tangled the whole thing up like nothing I've ever seen. We make a good team. This smile's a winning smile. As the lock's inner door clunks open, Moritz gives a rare whoop. He looks exhausted too, and for good reason. Moritz has been the one ferrying tools and parts back and forth from the ship. His tired smile tells you he's glad it's done. Sleeper? Bliss? He shakes his head. That's impressive. When I saw that ship come in, I thought there was no way. Why, thank you, Moritz. She winks. For believing in us. Moritz rolls his eyes. You know what I mean. Take the compliment. He shoulders some of the gear that came back in with you and Bliss and heads to the racks to stow it. Bliss turns to you. I think you should be the one to do the honors. She nods to the ragged-looking console that Moritz assembled. <laughs> I don't want to jinx it. She smiles, but you can see she is genuinely nervous. Well, let's check the console, then. You glide over to the console and check the screen. It takes a second to see what you're doing through the flickering crack display, but after a moment, you see the accounts. And there it is, almost a thousand cryo, sat in the base transfer account. Well, Bliss calls, have we been screwed again? We did it! Bliss kicks off from the floor and spins up into the bay, shouting as she does. The noise makes Mor takes Moritz by surprise and he knocks a rack of parts, scattering handfuls of metal fixings across the bay. The sight of something... Glinting steel catching the work lights like glitter. Uh, sorry, says Bliss, grinning when she comes back down. I needed that. She kicks off and joins you at the terminal. Moritz even managed to sell that produce. We made a tidy profit, eventually. <laughs> Here. She loads a stack of blank chits into the terminal and transfers a chunk of the cryo to them. This is your cut. Bliss hands you the chits. Thank you for believing in this place. She looks away and smiles. Even when I couldn't. When you first met me, I was on the edge of giving up. All it would have taken was one more push. But now? Now this place is sparking again. Work is coming in, there are funds in the accounts. Even Moritz has a spring in his step. You both look over at him, happily racking up tools. That's because of you. She punches you on the arm. 
He lacks you. He's a good kid. He isn't bad, is he? She leans in closer. You know he came here looking to rob the place? I gave him a job instead. She laughs. Don't tell him I told you that. I just thought it might help you understand the kid. Moritz turns to look at you, and both Bliss and you awkwardly wave. Maybe it's time to change the subject. You going to be okay? <laughs> Me? Always. And she looks away. For him on out, it's going to be a little easier. I'm going to look for some complex contracts. Stuff that'll keep us inside the bay, not out in the black. No need to risk our necks if we don't need to. You want to cash out? That's fine. But there'll always be work for, for you here when you need it. I appreciate it. She smiles and then out of nowhere, quickly gives you a hug. She steps back and glances around reflexively. Take care, she says softly. You too. You turn to leave. And sleeper? Yes? She smiles. Don't spend that all at once. Hey! Another upgrade point. Look at that. Oh, we got another clock here. One last job. Moritz has heard Bliss speaking with someone remo remotely. Is there another job coming in? Interesting. Okay, um, we're going to go ahead and throw our lot into Hard to Kill. And then after that, it's just gathering up three points. I don't know if we're going to have the opportunity, though, to, because we are running out of things to do. But the Sidereal Horizon is going to launch uh, tomorrow, and I don't know if we're going to be on it or not. So I guess we will uh, cross that particular road when we get to it. But I hope you all have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.